All right, in today's video, let's talk about auto parts, mainly Toyota. I do have a Toyota Tacoma 2016. I do like the truck. It's small. I got the um, TRD Sport, so I got the crew cab. Enough room. It's it's a car. It's a tr it's nice. It's a truck. It's not a massive F-150 or a Tundra, which I used to have. We do have a Sequoia, which is a Tundra front with a Lexus back. You, you know, it's beautiful how they did that. But I do like the, the uh, Tacoma and uh, some of the videos I do post. I post a lot of stuff on this channel because I don't want to be one niche thing because you basically end up running out of ideas. You're going to talk about crypto mining, Bitcoin, uh, home repair, stuff like that. So much. You got to just mix it up based on what your day brings. So having said that, I like to do as much DIY as I can, uh, you know, from just even maintaining the paint and waxing and buffing and not really buffing so much, but um, polishing and putting ceramic, just protecting your wheels and tires and your car body be, uh, for, just to make it last. Because cars today are redonkulously overpriced. It's insane. Nobody can afford a $90,000 pickup truck. Oh my God, it's, it's forget it folks. And uh, what, I, what I heard yesterday is people are holding their cars on average now 12.5 years is the average age of a car and that's what our one uh, sequoia is it's a 12 it's beautiful we have had it 12 years i think it keeps running toyota's are not low maintenance you gotta just maintain any vehicle some cars are made more crappily than others like dodges the stellantis group cars are crap uh do not buy them they're even telling the, the plug-in jeep owners the hybrids i guess do not park them in your garage or anywhere near something that'll burn because those things have been catching on fire from what has been posted so yeah you got to maintain your vehicles and uh, fluids all the fluids differential transfer kit it's not that hard differential fluid has a weird stinky smell to it uh you can do oils you can do uh, power steering F flush and fill is easy it takes a couple minutes you know maybe take an hour of your day to fill it flush it fill it flush it that's no problem uh you can do your coolant coolant uh gets crappy after a while even if you're not driving much same with oil you should still change it it's a time and or miles the old 10,000 mile thing is don't follow that dude you'll get sludge and break down and it's just going to make your engine not work as good and or break so 5,000 miles on your oil or six months that's what i'm going by and uh, then you can check your oil your cap your dipstick uh you can check your uh, cap for foaming or anything on your dipstick for sludge or sludge up in the cap if there's white stuff like foamy soap that means you might have a blown head gasket you got to look for stuff like that but uh just flush you know change your oil and uh check it with the cap and the dipstick and uh, you even check in your coolant when you drain it if you you know drain it i don't know you can look at it and check it and if you see oil in it or it just smells you know you can check for internal problems with your motor so it's always good to check your fluids check and change them uh do the maintenance and your brakes you know check your brakes have some if you don't want to do it yourself just go to a shop find a shop look around use grok i found this little pro tip uh i paid for the premium which is like a couple bucks a month for x for twitter and they have ai grok and i've been asking a question unlike this stupid biased chat gpt run by the evil people at google oh my god they're horrible people there it's so biased they won't answer certain questions because oh you hurt my feelings but you go to grok and you answer specific stuff even financial stuff it'll give you a fair answer based on the information provided at hand or whatever in the in the inner sphere whereas google is so biased it gives you what they think you want to know or they won't answer at all you know because they're protected they're programmed by a certain ideology which is not honest and doesn't want people who have open ideas and basically want you want to, i don't know you know what i mean they want you to think the way they want you to think but grok is great i asked about uh best dealerships in my area for service not dealership but just shops based on reviews based on re uh, comments based on a uh, skill of workmanships and it went out and found all the information gave me uh, the best summary as possible then i went and did my own research once they gave me that i went and looked oh my god i didn't know this shop was there because the shop i've been taking the cars to uh, just for stuff I didn't feel like doing, like AC stuff, which I, I just can't do because you need to be certified with the coolant, uh, the YF1234, YF, whatever that crap is that doesn't work. Thank you, EPA, for destroying automobiles, air conditioning, you fools. Anyway, hopefully Musk gets in there and gets rid of the EPA, the FAA. 
Uh, FEMA. Oh my God. All these worthless organizations, government agencies. Oh, I'm on a rant. I'm on a rant. All right. So when I anyway, use Grok, it's great. It'll help you find a local service shop. Have them go do it. And the one I went to, they were they stripped off my lower uh, skid plate bolts. They don't tell you. It's like, just tell me you did it and I'll get it out. But I you go down there. It's like, what the hell? The bolt's missing. And they broke it off because it rusts. Just get it. You guys have a welding kit. You could freaking weld a nut on there and get it out for me. Oh, my God. I'll pay you 10 bucks. They'll probably charge me 50. But they broke it. I don't know. Who knows? Blah, blah, blah. So I got so sick. And then last time. I had them do so. I think I should just rotate the tires because the truck was in there for AC, the uh, Sequoia. And then I went and I did it. I just rotated the tires myself. And my God, they over tightened the lug nuts. Jeez, 93 foot pounds is not that much, folks. You don't need to put your freaking air uh, impact driver on full blast. My God, imagine if your daughter or wife broke down on the side of the road or some weak soy boy who has no muscle, upper body strength. He's not going get, to get those lug nuts off. <laughs> Uh, it's true. Uh, that's why I get mad when people can't follow torque specs. Torque specs are your friend, and they're there for a reason. Uh, even putting anti-seas on stuff. So anyway, having said all this, guys, Toyota Tacoma, any car, you do not want to be slapping aftermarket crap on your on your vehicle for maintenance. Fluids. I mean, oil, maybe you're good with Mobile One or something like that. But Toyota, for example, makes the, their 0, 0, 08 20 oil. You can get that. They make the differential oil. They make the uh, tran transmission oil, right? Uh, they have the uh, air filters, too. When you start putting aftermarket stuff in, it's most likely not really, I don't know. You know the engineers at Toyota did this stuff for a reason. So follow their stuff. Uh, brake rotors. People put on these aftermarket stuff. I almost went and spent a few hundred bucks on these slotted, drilled rotors for the Sequoia with these pads. I went, no, I learned my lesson. I'm getting OEM. Pay what you can. So here is my pro tip, having lasted this far in the video, is um, to get parts. Quick on Amazon. You're going to get um, counterfeit parts sometimes too that say Toyota, and then uh, you're going to be surprised that why is it not working? Why did it break? Why doesn't it fit? So what do I do? This is what I found. I wanted to get a whole new brake and, and uh, rotors and pads and that for the Sequoia. So it's like I said, it's um, 12, year old, 12 year old and they still have this stuff. What you do, come over here. Just start here. If you want to shop around, this is how you find the great deals. You can get cheap parts through the Toyota dealer. You can, I would just get it online because then, um, you might get a better online discount because what's happening is Toyota corporate is reimbursing you guys for the uh, discounts and stuff like that. So the, the dealership's still making money. Good for them. The service guys need to get paid. I know they rip off their techs. They don't, they pay them. I don't know, below minimum wage, right? They, the techs keep that freaking dealerships running and the greedy dealership ownerships need to start paying their certified Toyota technicians what they're worth. Pay them a lot of money. Keep them. But the guys end up leaving and starting their own business because they're getting ripped off at these uh, dealerships. Pay them what they're worth. Quit being cheap. You don't need another house. Jesus. Anyway, what you can do is go to toyota.com and uh, go over here and you can go to um, shopping tools, right? This is your starting point. I'm not even logged in. So click on this. Blammo. Buy parts and accessories. See that? We're going to whittle our way down. Boom. Oh, I already brought it up. I'll well, we'll do it again. I already had it up, but we'll go through the we'll go through the uh we'll go through the process together. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. All right. So basically what you can do, dealers do their own specials, their own shipping rates, uh whatever. You may wait a couple days to get the parts or a week, but again, they're gonna get them from Toyota. They're gonna be OEM parts coming from a dealership. Uh it can be across the country. It could be local. Uh, what I found is like here, this is a 10. Now, this is a different one. 10% off select items. Click for details. Uh, this is a new thing. Uh, I think this is uh, all dealership wide. But what you can do is just start poking around. Spend. You're going to you want to save money. You got to do the work, right? You know, do the work. Don't be lazy. You can go in here. If you know some dealers around or you know some dealers, just start searching. and. Um, 
one dealer is usually what I've been finding is different than the other dealer. So I went to Lakeland, Florida, and they didn't have the same specials or discounts that my uh, this Miami South Dade one I found had. So let's go over here. So I just went, I just, I was poking around. I found Sparks. There's a Sparks Toyota in South Carolina and their shipping is outrageous. You may get what you want there and they may have a discount, but oh my God, they make up for it in the shipping. So it's kind of a shell game with them. So just buyer beware on that. And you know, anything you're buying online, wait till you get to the cart, find online coupons if they don't give you any discounts. And most likely, if you use this Capital One plugin on your Chrome browser, or your, I use Brave, you better be using Brave. If you're on the internet, use Brave. They have a built-in VPN you pay a couple bucks for. If you want it, you get paid to use their browser in, Bit, in their um, crypto, what the heck is it? Uh, uh, Brave token or whatever. And um, all ads are gone. If you're on YouTube watching any videos, any video that's in the video, you can't get around that obviously, but any YouTube video, when you click on YouTube, you don't see it with Brave. They block everything. It's beautiful. Because when I went to my TV and brought up YouTube, I went, what is all this crap? You saw nothing but commercials in, in the video. Uh, it breaks between the video and beginning and end. I went, no, I can't do this. I hate advertising. I can't stand it. It actually makes me angry. So use Brave. You don't get any ads. Uh, also, if you want to know a pro tip, and it's on any website, guys. Even <laughs> I'm trying to think of the other one. Oh, yeah. So with YouTube, their movies, the free with ad movies, even Amazon free with ads, Pluto TV, which has the ads where they break when you're watching a movie because Pluto has good movies. But they make you watch these horrible commercials of crap you don't want, crap you don't need and pushing an audiology you don't care about. So what happens when you use Brave is... um. When you're watching these movies that say free with ads, none of the ads play. It's I'm like watching this one movie. I forgot it was the meteor is coming again, blow up the earth, right? Uh, no, there was, it said free with ads, and I watched a couple movies out there. No ads popped up. I went, this is beautiful. I said, I love Brave, best browser out there with no commercials. Do it. Get your Brave, install it. I don't, I don't get anything from it. I just love it. I've been using it for years now, and also I want to hide my. Uh, I just want to be safe and secure, and that's why I like their VPN. They uh, they protect you from uh, uh, all the cookies and crap that these sites put on these trackers. And uh, up here, you know, up in the thing, you'll see all the all the protection they give you. And I just add on the VPN as well. It's nine bucks a month. Boom, I'm happy because uh, you know you do your financial stuff a lot. You don't want someone there sniffing and getting your information. And then you can say you're from, pick where you're from, which part. It's just you know most time I, they put me up in northeast even though I'm in the Southeast, you know, blah, blah, blah. It's beautiful. Enough of that. Oh my God, enough of that. But with that, you can get the Capital One plugin and then it'll help you find coupons on any site. Like at Omaha Steaks last night, I was going to need something. So I went and clicked on your coupon box. Capital One ran through, found me 25 bucks. So I went, wow. All right. 25 is 25 bucks is 25 bucks. All right. I'm ranting. I'm ranting. Come back, Jimmy. Jimmy, come back to the light. All right. So that's what I'm saying. Go shop around. Check your dealerships online for your whatever manufacturer, but I know Toyota does this. And uh, where is mine? Let me see if I can do this. Like then it'll click you when you pick your um, dealer, though anyone, right? Again, any dealer, just keep looking around. And um, they all, Toyota sponsors the site. They they set up each dealer with their own website because they want to move parts. Dealerships, dealers, yeah. English hot, I went to public school. Dealerships make their money, not through car sales mostly, maybe high-end cars, that's where the big margins are, but the real money is in the service department. And that's why they rip off their tax. They don't pay them, because they want to make as much as they can. Uh, greed is good. So that's also parts too. But usually it's multiple, they each have their own cost centers, service, parts, finance, sales, and then probably something else. A leasing, I don't know, that's sales. But anyway, you can go in and what happened last week is I pulled the trigger on the um, parts because they had an actual count. I was surprised. Someone mentioned in Discord, oh, sometimes I wait once a year, they do a 25% off at Christmas. And I went, dude, this one I found in South Dade was doing a um, dealer discount of some percentage and they had a 25% off the parts. And above all, they had free shipping, whereas the Sparks guys in South Carolina were just to ship rotors, which don't weigh that much. They wanted 300 bucks to ship South Carolina down two states. And I even went back to their website and the shopping cart and put in a local zip code to their 
address where they're shipping from. And it was still 300 bucks. And I pointed it out to him and said, come on, guys, right? I get it. You want to make money? So it's, that's a shell game. They play the lower the price, but make it up in shipping. And they do that on eBay too and all that crap. You just got to be aware. Um, but on this one, I went to South Day. They had a huge thing. I got, uh, I think the total bill was like, the total bill before all the discounts with, uh, I just got two front rotors on a Sequoia, brake pads. They're already discounted, right? And I got all the clips and pins and rattle pins. I got some grease. I even bought a rear wiper for the Sequoia since it was starting to go already. They don't last long. They last a couple years. Um, and I got, oh, I got a TRD shifter for the Tacoma. Uh, roughly almost the same, couple bucks minus or plus what you get on Amazon. But who cares? They gave in more discounts. I got the dealer's discount, de dealer discount itemized on the page here. And I got um, the free shipping. Again, rotors, brake pads. Again, not light, not heavy. I mean, but still, free shipping is good. Compared to Sparks, which wanted 300 bucks, give me a break. So, and then I got all the smaller stuff as well. I'm trying to think of anything major now. But again, you can go through their sites. And what's nice about these sites as well is they have the schematics of your vehicle. You put in the VIN of the year and model, but best put, drop your VIN in here. And then you get all the parts related to it. You get the schematics and it helps you find the right part. So you're not guessing. So that's what's nice about this too. OEM is my point of this whole video and saving money. So in a nutshell, you know, after uh, blabbering for how many, 16 minutes, uh, we have saved pretty much 50% off the total MSRP on these parts. I could have walked down to my Toyota dealership in town. I would have probably just paid full price and been done. And I went, ah, but when you can save 300 bucks and then say you don't want to do the install, right? I'm going to go to it and say, listen, I know you guys don't usually do this, but these are OEM parts I got from a Toyota. And then they might say, okay, but they might not warranty the work. You got to watch that too. So yeah, but you could get someone to do it. But again, OEM parts are the way to go and there are a way to save money. So whenever you think OEM parts are expensive, they're not overpriced and expensive. You get what you pay for. You get some third market uh, Chinese uh, counterfeit piece. It's going to break. In six months, why is my car not running right? Or why did this fall off? You, you got ripped or you got a crappy part. You got some third mar third party crap, OE aftermarket crap you don't need. Uh, so yeah, do this, look on this site. Like right now it's 10%. That's nothing to what I had last week. And they had a timer, a countdown up here, right in the top. And I said, you have three days. At the time I found this, it was seven days or t 10 days out before the sale ended. I thought that was weird. I go, this can't be real. All right, so I went, I, I filled in, I populated my shopping cart with the broders, the pads, everything, blah, blah, blah. And I left it and I go, oh my God, I got a day left. And I said, all right, I just got to pull the trigger. This is, this price can't be beat. Uh, I mean, the, the, you need to do the brakes, right? You're going to need it. So just get the part. You don't do them right away. You'll at least have them when you do get around to it. And at that price, it's good. Um, so yeah, I went, pulled, got it, got it for half off. So I think I got out the door at 300 bucks for everything, uh, which was again, I think, Maybe less. Wait, it was 200, 324. I think the total was 500 something without the uh, discounts and free shipping and all that. It was beautiful. Um, I'm impressed. And I know I'm getting OEM parts from a dealership. Odds are they're shipping them from, they might have ordered them from their local Toyota hub and got them into their parts and shipped them out. Or they might have had them drop shipped from Toyota, wherever their hub is, like Amazon has a hub, right? Uh, I'll find out when I get the box. But I did it on a Thursday, I think, and then today is Monday. So again, I think they just said they got the order processed. It only took them a couple of days to piece everything together. There was a weekend in there. So I'm impressed. I like it. Will I get them all? We'll see once I get them. So there's a tip. Go to Toyota. Find your local dealership. No, find a dealership. Just search around a bunch of them, you know, and even search online. Cheap, uh, no, uh, Toyota part, OEM parts, and then click on all the links. You might get Lakeland. Florida, and then you can go to South Miami Dade. You can go up to Sparks in South Carolina, uh, somewhere out in California, and then just see what kind of deals they have. They might freak out if you're buying from California and shipping brakes, heavy rotors to Florida or something like that, or Georgia, right? That's gonna, I'm sure then the dealership's gonna, or the um, manufacturer will probably reimburse them. I heard that the manufacturers reimburse the parts guys when they have these discounts. So, Everyone's making money. You're getting OEM parts. Win, win, win. That's all I got. Oh my God. 20 minutes in. Just to ramble on about parts. It's a passion, folks. 
I like I like making deals, and you're also getting quality. And uh, you got to keep your cars running because it's it, you know it depends how this election goes. It's going to get really bad out there if it goes uh, if the one group steals it, and uh, it's going to get bad, folks. I'm telling you. So get out there and vote accordingly for your future and no taxes. Right. All right. I'm out. I will see you in the next one.